Welcome to JW Broadcasting for December 2022. Watch the sparks fly today because for the first time on our show, we're going interracial. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 15. Remember, what was the assignment that Jesus had? In verse 24, he mentioned Israel. Now, looking at this map, we see at that time there was actually a border around that area that we could say was his territory assignment. What? You just made that up! But when Jesus said these words, where was he? Do you remember? Let's look at verse 21. Jesus now went into the region of Tyre and Sidon. So when you look at the map, where was Tyre and Sidon? What do you notice? You see, he wasn't in his territory. He was out among the Gentiles. Why? Well, when we look at the parallel account that's uh, mentioned in Mark chapter 7, it tells us that Jesus wanted some time alone with his apostles, some downtime, because there were so many crowds, they were so busy. Now, I'm sure all of us can understand that feeling Jesus had. Do you feel the urgency of the times in which we are now living? What a privilege we have to be serving God in these last days at a time when Jehovah is speeding up the kingdom preaching work. So he took them out of that general area to this territory that was beyond what he would normally preach in to have some quiet time together. But what happened? Well, the account tells us there was a Syrophoenician woman, perhaps of, as the study notes help us to see, from a Greek background. So this woman approached Jesus, pleading with him. Now, she didn't look like a Jewish person. I don't know why you keep having to say and they're Jewish. The way, you wouldn't, what you is the fact they're Jewish got to do with anything? Notice, this was a little different in the sense that this woman showed an appreciation for who Jesus was. Notice in verse 22, she said, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. Now, here's a Gentile woman. Now, she didn't look like a Jewish person. Should she really know who David was? And by saying the son of David, as the study note indicates, perhaps she was showing faith in the fact that Jesus is the Messiah. So she wasn't your average sorrow Phoenician person. What did Jesus do? Well, he tested her a little. He did emphasize the fact in a household, uh, you first of all feed the children, the family, and then the little dogs get fed afterwards. And he, perhaps he was playing on words there. It's interesting, we're not sure what language Jesus was speaking to her. The Watchtower did say that Jesus perhaps did understand Greek and use it at times. Racial profiling? <laughs> Who the f is Renee Zellweger? Why, his apostles obviously understood some Greek. They wrote some of the books of the Bible in Greek. But whatever the case, the record of this is written, the inspired record is in Greek. And it uses this term, little dogs. Was that an offensive? Thank you guys for coming. I would like you just to raise your hand whenever you feel the term I use is offensive. No. I don't like that it. sounds okay. kind of offensive. Okay, okay. As it's mentioned, it was an affectionate term, like saying puppies or pets. Right. So, whatever the case. All right, whatever. Yeah, whatever, whatever the f ever. He must have looked very friendly, perhaps had a smile on his face because she was not deterred. I'm not gonna be ignored, Dan. What was Jesus' reaction? Well, he acknowledged his territory, his assignment, but then in verse 28, he said, O oh woman, great is your faith. Let it happen to you as you wish. It's your choice. You have the freedom to do what you want. <laughs> Enjoy yourself.